Hope you enjoyed your summer break. The race is delayed about an hour, so I decided to run down here and do a quick show. Would have done it yesterday, but fell asleep after taking some Benadryl for a beasting reaction. All right, so uh, let's step back here to the Hungarian Grand Prix crazy race. Uh, Botas trying to take out everyone. Mercedes doing their best to just make sure Red Bull doesn't stand a chance, and they did that. Um, and to everyone's surprise, Esteban Akan gets the win uh, with a lot of help from his teammate uh, Fernando Alonso holding Hamilton back. Uh, amazing defense from the veteran. Um, and you can just see him work with his teammate, try to get his teammate the win, and just did a great job. Akon obviously raced very well, uh, very surprising, did a great job of just leading the whole time. Uh, probably wouldn't have led if it wasn't, probably wouldn't have won if it wasn't for Alonso, uh, but, you know, he did great. Um, uh, Lo, uh, Hamilton didn't end up in second uh, after uh, Vettel was removed. Uh, he was disqualified. So unfortunately, uh, it should have been Akon, uh, Vettel, and then Hamilton, but that's not how things ended up because uh, the races, uh, the people left the race weren't able to get enough uh, gas from Vettel's car because they're idiots. Um, and then again, uh, Sainz ended up in third, Alonso in fourth, Gasly in fifth, Sonoda in sixth, and here we go, Williams, seventh, Williams, eighth, Latifi and Russell, scoring points, first points of the year for Williams, uh, amazing race from the two, and then, uh, of course, Verstappen in ninth, uh, with half a car, ends up in the points, uh, even with a lot of cars out, he just an amazing driver, uh, completely ridiculous that he was even able to get in the points. His car was just destroyed and um, amazing, amazing driver, amazing race for him, uh, despite everything. And then Kimi Raikkonen uh, moves up into 10th. So uh, Gasly uh, ended up with the fastest lap, getting an extra point there, taken away from Hamilton. Uh, good on him. Uh, great to see Gasly uh, put some pressure out there. And it was great to see. So uh, after this race, the championships uh, is Hamilton um, is in the lead. He's in uh, first place with 195. Verstappen in second with 187. Uh, Norris is in third. He didn't pick up any points. He's, he has 113. Uh, Norris had to retire. Botas also retires, stays in fourth with 108 points. Uh, Perez had to retire, still has 104, just behind Botas. Um, Sainz moves up uh, with his third place finishing, gets 83 points, has 83 points, um, overtakes his teammate Leclerc, uh, who had to retire. He has 80 points. Gasly picking up some points um, and is in eighth. Ricardo in ninth. Esteban Akan moving all the way up to 10th uh, with the win. And then Alonso in 11th uh, with 38. Vettel in 12th. He could use those extra points uh, from getting second that were taken away from him. Sonoda is in 13th. Stroll in 14th. Latifi in the Williams up in 15th. Russell uh, in 16th with four points, overtaking Raikkonen with two points. And Giovinazzi with one point. Schumacher and Mazepin in the Haases obviously aren't going to get any points. So Gasly and Ricardo obviously... Uh, both have 50 points, can uh, do whatever you want with them, but uh, it's close. Alfa Tori and, um, you know, McLaren, Ferrari, they're all uh, kind of right in the middle. Alpine, all right in the middle, as you can see here. Um, Mercedes and Red Bull, still um, only 12 points to separate the two. Uh, going to be amazing. Going to have to wait to see what happens with the last few races here. We're only about halfway done with the season. Um, McLaren and Ferrari tied with points, uh, 163. Uh, with both McLarens not getting any points and Sainz uh, getting third, um, good tie for them. So we have uh, the best of the rest here. We have uh, Alpha Tori and Aston Martin and Alpine um, all kind of fighting right in the middle. Aston Martin's had a lot of issues getting points um, and getting points taken away from them. But Alpine and Alpha Tori fighting for the fifth place right there. Uh, I don't think they're going to catch Ferrari and McLaren, but we'll see. Uh, but great place, uh, good, great battle for third place here. Uh, got a little bit lazy, and I pulled this information from motorsports.com uh, for the grid. Didn't feel like dumping all the numbers in and moving everything around again. So uh, for the Belgian Grand Prix, the grid, I decided to go away from the uh, Q3 and decided to go with the grid because of all the penalties. Uh, and I feel it's better to tell you, tell you where they start here. Max Verstappen is going to start 
uh, P1 uh, and just edges out George Russell. Had an amazing qualifying. Rain everywhere, but Russell hot on it and uh, wasn't first for a while. And Verstappen came in and uh, took first from him. But uh, George Russell starting on the front row for the first time. Good on him. Uh, Hamilton behind uh, Russell is uh, in third, then Ricardo in fourth, Vettel in fifth, Gasly in sixth, Perez in seventh, Akon in eighth, uh, Norris in ninth, and uh, Leclerc tenth. Uh, obviously, this uh, grid was done before, done last night before uh, Norris got his five position penalty. Uh, so Leclerc is actually going to start ninth. Uh, I don't remember who's starting tenth. But it is not Norris. Norris ended up starting in 14th for this race. And here we go. Uh, Spa, Belgian Grand Prix, um, classic track. Um, amazing. In the, in the, when it's dry, this track is crazy. And it's going to be a wet one. As you can see, the race has been delayed a couple times. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Um, it, it'll be hectic crazy if we have 10 cars finished tonight today it'll be uh, a miracle next race is september 5th uh the dutch grand prix i know the race is just about to start so i'm trying to get out of here real quick uh the dutch grand prix lots of turns this is the best image i could find um i'm going to try to find another one for the preview next week but dutch grand prix september 5th a week from today and uh my predictions for this race here um i do think hamilton um Given his all of his experience, I think Hamilton's going to win this race. Uh, I think Verstappen's going to get second, and I think Vettel's going to get third. Um, you, have, you have two of the best drivers and two of the most experienced. I think you're going to have, um, again, Hamilton, Verstappen, and then Vettel uh, for the race here. And uh, just a couple news. Uh, Perez is not in the race also, so uh, when I said Leclerc's going to start uh, ninth, I actually... Uh, I, well, Perez is not racing, but I think everyone still stays where they are because he crashed on um, warming up today. And uh, Perez did resign with Red Bull for 2022. It'll be interesting to see who they come in and have replace him. I think uh, given all of his trouble this year, I, I do like Perez. I think he's a great racer, but I don't think he's going to last much past that. Um, and then no news really from uh, Mercedes as to whether or not Botas is staying with the team or not. Um, really interested to see what happens with that. Um, do they move Russell up? He, he's got he's starting P2 here, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't think they've made that decision yet. I think a lot of that is going to be based on um, Hamilton. I think Hamilton is going to have a, a big say in what happens with um, his teammate, especially since he signed on through uh, another year. So we'll see. Um, I think Botas goes. I think I predicted that he'd be gone by now from the team to begin with. So uh, I'm going to stick with that. I don't think Botas returns to Mercedes next year. Um, even if Hamilton is really pushing for him, uh, I think Mercedes is trying to, trying to wait and see what happens. Um, I would like to see Russell stay with Williams. I think Williams has a great thing going. And uh, I think... Uh, they can build a really, really good team there. Um, Latifi, you know, nothing to write home about, but um, this would be nice to see Williams bat bounce back and uh, be fighting for a championship again, especially with the changes coming in 2022. All right, this is We Missed Miss the Exit, and thanks for watching, and enjoy the race.